far ahead of us. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure we can catch him. Oh, it's going to be a race. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, that was a close one. It should be about 25%. This should hold about four loads. Okay, good. Uh, we're going to be busy right now, so what we're going to do is we're not going to take it to market. We're just going to dump it in the silos. Money in the bank. As you can see, we're down to 37000 just enough money to operate the ranch because remember right now it's harvest time we got two guys working we got cost of fuel plus the other tractors we have three me plus two guys I want to forget me of course I'm not really working I'm just sitting around enjoying okay this is gonna be a little trick once in a while I got a dump here just to get just to get Buster I guess we'll, we'll figure it out. And I might as well get the other tractor over here, not this one. This one here, put the trailer for doing straw. Okay, this unit will uh, will do the straw, so we'll move this one out. As you can see, harvest time. Everybody is busy, which is the way you like it on a ranch. Yeah, it's not much of a trailer, but a little trailer, but uh, it does a job. It's all we need right now. I'm not sure we have it on, but I think it is. Let's see if we do. Oh yeah, okay, perfect. Perfect. You know, I would say, but uh, Buster's probably full pretty soon. Yeah, that's gonna be the problem. Maybe I'm gonna have to wait on the straw. You know, I should have never sold that other trailer. The other, uh, well, we just make them wait. Yeah, I think maybe I shouldn't have sold the, the small trailer because uh, instead of instead of uh, picking the straw, I guess we could have had the other trailer here. Oh, he's not going to make it up and down. Well, he's not going to make it up and down. So we're going to have to move this trailer and catch him when he starts on his way down, or part way down. I mean, look at how nice, short period of time. I mean, look at how much grain he's picked, or how much canola. Okay, we're going to leave it here, and... We don't, let's see, 37. Yeah, that was really dumb of me. 
Not too smart. Not too smart to sell that other trailer. I think we only, I think it's only, we only got like 12,000 for it or something like that. But. Okay, we will wait here and, um, I guess we won't worry about Buster right now. Hmm. I wonder if I'm too far down. Yep, he might not make it that far. What a difference with this new combine. Okay, we'll park at the end and let them dump. I guess we'll do a little straw while we're waiting. Yeah, one of the biggest uh, negatives with the smaller combine is how much it holds before you have to dump it. Yeah, this little unit worked out great because that front mower, we can, uh, we can cut right into the wagon when we start feeding the sheep and stuff, so. For the cattle, it's not really that good because uh, you have to mix and you have to use bales. I guess I'm going to look into that other, let me see how much that trailer is again. I think it was 24,000. Yeah, let me see how much it was. It was this one right here, right? Yeah. No, it wasn't. Was it this one? Yeah, it was this one. Yeah, kind of dumb. So, I mean, we only got like 12,000 out of it. 
Hmm. I think that'll leave me a little short. think on it. Meantime we'll uh we'll ride with Willie a little bit. Oh I just love this thing. Look at the look at how much we've already Oh there's the rest of our equipment over there, the old equipment. Yeah that's the old tractor little trailer we bought which is not really what we need in the long run and the old combine versus the new stuff right here yep. yeah as you can see by the time we pick up all the fuels there won't be much left of that 37 